What a day. It was really fantastic. It's a, uh, unfortunate. It's a, pretty much a goodbye to Ryan Howard, but what a great day. The great, great crowd. They enjoyed it. Uh, we won the game. I caught pitch well. I think Howie is very uh, happy, and he, he feels the love of all the fans and everybody around. So it was. that's the story of today. Very nice day. You uh, wondered when the time would, you would get a shot to pull him out. The hardest part for me today was making sure I didn't screw that up and got him out at the right time, whether it was after he hit a home run or after he, something, you know. So I, I kind of played it out till the end to make sure that he got hit one more at bat. And then I, I always figured I could take him out in the ninth. And uh, it worked out well, you know. Plus, we won the game. So it's kind of a bittersweet day. Uh, but all in all, uh, I'm glad he got to feel that uh, the affection from the fans. You were, you've said about you know how even keeled he is. What was it like seeing him get emotional during that? I call him a crybaby. And he, he <laughs> but I, I must admit, I had a little tear welling up into my eye. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty, uh, pretty different kind of day. It seemed like you wanted to get Eikhoff out at the right time, too, on a good note. Well, you know, he had such a great year for us, and uh, he only fell three innings shy of 200, mainly because of the rain delay in uh, Atlanta. Uh, but uh, to me, he's been a—he's uh, given us a stellar performance all year round, and we didn't—we we brought him out healthy. We wanted to make sure he stayed healthy and didn't want to push it, so it worked out well. Because most of his career he's batted cleanup. Did you think about batting him cleanup in the last game, or did you pretty much know he bat? Uh, well, I, he's batted cleanup, you know, most of his career, as you said. But uh, it's it just the way the lineup set up. I didn't want to put l two lefties together and uh, encourage them to bring in a lefty to face him. So I figured I'd split it up. And uh, plus, he's batted fifth quite a bit this year, and it hasn't affected him. He doesn't. Uh, I think at first a year or two ago, when he didn't bat fourth, he was a little upset about it. But uh, you know, he's come along, and I tell you once again the way he's handled the whole situation. Half of last year and this year has been phenomenal. I can't say enough about how well he's handled it. And he's, he's had such a good second half that he's, he's proven he can still produce runs. Can I copy number one starter coming into training camp or spring training? Do you project him as a possible number one? Yeah, you know, I don't, as a possible number one, without question. You know, I like what I see. We, we, we want to make sure uh, that Nola is healthy and Eflin's healthy and uh, Velasquez. And what we, we'll worry about that down the road, Jack. I, I, I just... Um, but he's been such a good uh, – he's better than the bottom of the rotation starter, let's put it that way. How was this team to think he hit this year in terms of the team? Who was that? Oh. How did you think as a team you guys hit this year? I think we, uh, we, we outperformed early in the season, and we did so well that everybody got excited and everybody was – uh, knew that with good pitching and solid defense, we can win our share of games. You know, you go against the cinder guards and the DeGroms and, and the, the best ones, Sale. We beat Sale pretty handily, although we, we uh, did it with offense. Um, but we, we proved to ourselves that pitching and defense are very important to stay in games and give you a chance to, to win at the end. So that being said, um, uh, we learned a lot about that. We know that we need uh, improved offense. Uh, we need a little, little bit more in that that way, and I feel that if we have a better offensive team next year, uh, no matter how we get it, uh, we're going to be more competitive.